All right, on this uh, OST Dino Tech video, we are going to be showing you how to convert your previously Diablo Sport tuned car over to HP tuners, which is our preferred method of tuning these vehicles. So first, look at our other videos on how to set up your HP tuners module. Um, we have a few out for that. Uh, get your module set up, get your uh, scanner and editor installed on your computer, and then um, if, if you haven't done that already, uh, and then you can come back to this video. So. Uh, I have the uh, HP Tuner standard module uh, plugged into the OBD2 port of the car and into the USB port of my computer. So now we're going to open up the VCM editor. Okay, once you have your HP Tuner's VCM editor open, you're going to turn the ignition on in the car. And then you're going to go to this green up arrow. This is the read vehicle button. Click that. Okay, so now we're gonna click gather info. We don't really wanna, you can click read, but we're gonna gather info just to make sure uh, we're picking up all the modules we should be. All right, so this is a six speed car, so we're only picking up the PCM. Normally, if it's an automatic car, you'd have two uh, modules here, the, the PCM and then the TCM, but again, six speeds, only have, a, uh, only have a PCM. So then we're gonna read. And it's gonna take about 11 minutes. So we'll sit and wait for that to happen, but you can watch the uh, progress bar start going across. Um, leave the ignition on, don't open the doors or anything like that. If you uh, are concerned about uh, the voltage in your vehicle, it's a good idea to put it on the battery charger, especially for the older vehicles um, that are 10 minutes. The newer vehicles even more so, they're about 14 minutes to read, 14 to 16. Uh, so it's a good idea to put a battery charger on on those. All right, so once our read is finished, we're gonna be asked to turn the ignition off, wait 10 seconds, and then turn the ignition back on. So I've already done that, uh, so we're gonna hit okay, and it's gonna prompt us to save the file. So we're going to save it in a way that you will remember, and this is, you can use whatever folder nomenclature you want, but this is how we do it. So we'll type in the uh, customer name. Click on it. And I'll create a folder inside there called reads. So these are just the, uh, all the reads we take from the car. And I'll save this as the date, today's date. And then, uh, probably like Diablo Sport read. It's just so I know that this is the Diablo Sport tune that we pulled from the vehicle. All right, so now that we've extracted the tune uh, that we created with Diablo Sport for this car, now we want to re reset the car to factory so that we can have a factory tune extracted as well. If we just used this tune and flashed it back into the car and kept tuning it from this tune, we would never have a factory tune to reference or go back to. Um, so it's very, very important that after you read the tune that's already in the vehicle, you unmarry the Diablo Sport device and then do a second read of the factory tune. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so now that we've read the Diablo tune with the HP Tuners module, we are going to unmarry the Trinity and return the PCM to stock. So ignition on. And then we're going to hit the performance button. Okay, so we're going to click on Diablo Tunes. And then we're gonna click on Original Backup right on the bottom. Okay, this res will restore the original backup and reset this tool. That's exactly what we wanna do. Uh, with this tool unmarried and reset, Returning the PCM to stock is another way of saying unmarry the tool if you've seen that online. With this tool unmarried, you will be able to sell it as uh, a new unit essentially. Someone else will be able to marry it to their car without having to send it back to Diablo Sport to unlock. I guess you just have to barely touch it. Yes, we want to restore the original backup. All right, so now it's gonna write the original backup to the vehicle. So now we're going to follow the prompts that it gives us.
Okay, so now the restored and reset is done. The Trinity is unmarried. It's essentially returned to stock. The car is returned to stock. Uh, that being said, don't try to start the vehicle at this time. This is why we read the tune that was currently in the car with HP tuners, because what we're going to do now is flash that tune back onto the car uh, so that we can drive it and tune from there. All right, so the restore and reset is done. Uh, the Trinity has been returned to stock, as has the car. Uh, so we will disconnect this, and we will connect our HP tuners module and read the factory tune. So let's do that now. All right, so we have our HP tuners module plugged back into the car. Ignition is on. We're just going to do the same exact process as we did before. Uh, there's actually another, another little step here. Because we've actually already read a tune, you can see that the green arrow is not highlighted. We can't actually click on it. That's because the tune that we read off the car is currently open in the uh, VCM editor. So we'll just go up to File, Close. That's going to close the tune out. It's not going to close the program out, uh, but it closes the previous tune out. Now this green button is highlighted. So read, gather info, see the PCM here, read again. All right, so now we're reading the stock tune. Again, this is so that we can have it on file should we ever need to return the car to stock. It's also great to reference uh, your aftermarket tune uh, from the stock tune so you can see what's changed and maybe change stuff back to stock if you need to. Um, it's great for diagnosis. Um, and we also want it in case for any reason we should ever want to put this car back to stock. There's really no easy way to do it other than to flash it back onto the car. Uh, so we'll let this read and uh, then we'll come back and I'll show you how to officially get it onto HP tuners. All right, so now the HP tuners has finished reading the factory tune. We're gonna follow the same procedure. Ignition off, wait for 10 seconds. Ignition on. You can hit okay. All right, so now that we've unmarried the Diablo Sport and we've read our factory tune, we are going to open the Diablo Sport tune that we initially read when the vehicle came in and we're going to file save as something else and I've actually already done it so we'll end up just rewriting it. I've created a new folder called tunes. We'll save it as HP Tuner Startup with today's date. Again, it's the same file, uh, just saved to something else, so that we don't have to, we don't accidentally damage the uh, the initial file. So with the ignition on and our cable connected, we're going to write to the vehicle with the red arrow, and we're going to click the write button. And uh, 26 seconds later, the tune will be in the vehicle. All right, so we're gonna follow the prompt, turn the ignition off, wait 10 seconds. And then turn the ignition back on. All right, we are officially on HP tuners with this vehicle. The Trinity has been unmarried, that can be sold. Um, this customer has purchased his own module and we've set the car up with that module. Uh, there's nothing more to do. It's a pretty simple process. You read, unmarry, read, and then write the uh, tune the vehicle came in with and you're on HP Tuners and ready to go. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments or send us an email, micah at ostdino.com or mike at ostdino.com. We have these modules in stock and we can help you uh, convert your car over to HP tuners if you choose. Um, so appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.